In an earlier tutorial we modelled the business process apply for job looking at the uh, process by which a candidate for a role creates the application, submits it, potentially attends an interview, reviews the offer and then finally accepts the offer. Subsequent to that video um, I've also modelled uh, the matching process that occurs for the recruiter in terms of handling that application. What we're going to do in this video is bring together the two to model the collaboration between the candidate and the recruiter so we can see the uh, interactions between the two and we'll also flesh out these processes with additional messages and message events as a result of that. So to start with we'll create ourselves a new BPMN diagram calling that diagram recruitment And to that diagram, then from the palette, we'll drag a collaboration, uh, which by default will have two participants, a provider and a consumer. So we'll name that collaboration recruitment. And our two participants will be the candidate and the recruiter. So just hit control F9 just to zoom out the diagram a little and then we'll add some additional space to the diagram by right clicking and dragging to increase the length of those participant pools. Now since we've already modelled the processes for applying for the job and handling the application we can simply drag those into um, these participant pools to, f to start with though, we'll just do that for apply for job and uh, we'll then uh, initially model some of the uh, message flows uh, between the pools. So what we can do is from the model contents view on the left here, uh, you'll see we have the apply for job diagram but also the apply for job process uh, with its constituent tasks and so on. And what we can do is we can simply drag that process and drop it into the candidate participant. And you'll see that what that's done is it's placed the, uh, the diagram that we'd created previously. But up in the left-hand corner here, we can see uh, a shortcut symbol which shows that this is a process reference, which means it's actually defined on the original, the other diagram. Um, since we're going to be needing to do some work uh, on the process itself in order to model this collaboration, we're going to turn this into the actual definition of the process, which we'll do by right-clicking and saying process view set as definition. Now you'll notice that in the top right hand corner here in the detail region we can actually see that that process, uh, we can see the diagrams that it appears on both apply for job and recruitment. So for instance we could double click on apply for job. Uh, we've already got the diagram open in another tab but it will then take us to it and as it's refreshed you'll notice that now has the shortcut symbol in the top left hand corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through this, um, this process of applying for job and uh, look uh, at the positions, at the places where there will be some form of interaction between candidate and recruiter. And as we move along we can see the first of those is almost certainly submit application. Now because we're on a, in a collaboration here and we have two separate pools, when I select submit application you'll notice there are now three bubbles, sequence flow, message flow and data association. So we can select the message flow and uh, take that just down to the recruiter pool itself. We have no additional detail in recruiter at the moment uh, so it will just create that message flow directly to the recruiter. And then working along uh, along the process further uh, we can see there's the gateway for whether we're called for interview or not um, and then an immediate jump into actually attending the interview. Now I would suggest that there's actually a, a, a message event in, that needs to be placed in here uh, for interview requested. So we'll just right click and drag everything to the right and from our palette drag a message event onto the sequence flow there we go and now this event that's placed here actually has a message definition behind it which we'll name as interview requested And 
just resize its label. And what this is then is this is the uh, the message event that will occur when the recruiter actually requests the interview. So we need to create from recruiter into re interview requested a message flow. Again, we we'll just select the recruiter pool, click on the message flow bubble, and link that up to the interview requested. Moving along further, uh, we can see that. Uh, there are two possible um, paths by which the application will be rejected and again that's a that's an event that I would suggest is a, is actually a message flow from recruiter to applicant to the candidate so again we'll select the, the pool drop that onto the application rejected and in fact we just want to clarify that that is a message event so we'll drag that on as well just rename the uh, event itself. Okay, now in order to uh, just clarify how this all fits together, I mean obviously we would continue along the whole path um, selecting and placing in as appropriate uh, the messages that, that need to be um, the message flows that need to be going from between the two pools. Um, but what I'd like to do now is just to bring in uh, into the recruiter pool uh, the handle application process and we'll begin to hook that up so you can see how that works. So again uh, from the left hand side from the model contents view I'll drag the handle application process and drop that onto the recruiter lane. just hit control F9 just to zoom out a little so we can see more of, of that. Now the start event in Recruiter actually needs to be modified to be a message event. Um, again this is a process reference so first off we'll select set as definition so we're actually modifying the definition of the process here. The start event is just a plain start event at the moment but that needs to be uh, a message event uh, which is the uh, application being received from the candidate. And clearly that is the, uh, the target for the message flow uh, that we created just a few moments ago from submit application. So we'll relocate that across there. Scheduling interview is obviously the source for our interview requested uh, message event. And our reject application task, similarly for the application rejected message event. And as I said, we'd continue across the diagram doing that. Now what we're also able to do is to add detail in terms of the uh, messages that are actually being passed on these me message flows. Um, and in order to do that, I'll just go into my model contents on the left here and create a new um, message. And the first one is actually our job application. And you'll see that then in our properties, we've got various details, including the potential to define the structure for that. And I can drag and apply that to uh, my message flow. And uh, just a couple more points before I f show you the uh, completed diagram. Uh, this gateway type here, you'll see, actually has two events uh, that follow it. So this actually needs to be an event-based exclusive gateway. And then finally, we've got some crossing lines here, which I'd like to tidy up by splitting that flow uh, and using BPMN2's link events instead. So return in a few minutes, a few moments time and uh, I'll show you the, uh, the completed diagram. You can see that we've now uh, completed the collaboration between candidate and recruiter uh, in the process of recruitment. 
you can see that we've reused the interview date uh, event in both lanes uh, and also that we've added the additional message flows for application rejection, job offer, offer rejection and offer acceptance along with the messages which run along those message flows. Uh, notice that the gateways uh, for all of those uh, decisions that are resulting in one or other of uh, two events or more uh, have been changed to event-based exclusive gateways. The final step, um, uh, just looking at these two particular processes, is that there's a, they both share a task, attend interview, which although um, carried out in different roles in terms of the applicant and the recruiter, uh, the activity is the same in terms of attending the interview. So we're just going to modify those two separate tasks so that they are a single uh, global task. So to begin with, we'll uh, select our package in the model, create a new element, process, global task, and name that to be attend interview. And now I can simply drag that uh, global task from the uh, model contents onto those activities on the diagram. And as I do so, it will associate them. It will change these activities to be um, to be call activities um, and I just need to then just remove the uh, duplicate name that is, isn't required on these symbols and I'll just double click the frame there to resize and then we'll do the same for attend interview in the candidate pool as well If I just hit F11 now, it will switch off the additional windows left and right. Um, I think I'll also just hide the ribbon bar here. And then hitting F, uh, Control F9 will uh, size the uh, diagram to fit the whole window. And then we can look through it once again and have a look uh, at the flow as we go through. So our candidate process, create application, submit application, which results in the message flow down to the recruiter where the application is received. And then the candidate apply for job process effectively sits in a waiting state, waiting to receive either a rejection or a request for interview. So the recruiter re reviews the application. If they choose to reject uh, using this link class here, that uh, flow continues over here to reject application, which sends the application rejected a rejection message and then completes. If they are uh, to be accepted for interview, then uh, the schedule interview task sends an invitation for interview, which then continues the apply for job process. Both processes then wait for the interview date timer event, at which point the candidate and recruiter will attend the interview. Then the candidate uh, goes into a waiting state again, waiting to receive either an application rejection or a job offer from the recruiter, who in the meantime is reviewing feedback from the interview and deciding whether or not to make an offer, subsequently rejecting the application or sending the offer. Then the recruiter enters uh, some form of a wait state, waiting to receive either a rejection of the offer or the offer acceptance. So the candidate is in control of the flow at that point. They review the offer they've received. Uh, if they choose not to accept it, then the reject offer task sends the offer rejection. If they choose to accept it, then they will submit the acceptance forms, sending the message uh, offer acceptance to the recruiter who then carries out the activity of hiring the candidate and both processes then complete. I hope you see from this tutorial how uh, straightforward it is to take two separate but related processes and to map out the collaboration between uh, the, the participants in those processes where that's relevant uh, and also some of the useful features in Innovator in terms of uh, being able to quickly and easily build BPMN diagrams.